Hey everybody, this is Temperance from Comic Crazy Studios, and today I'm going to teach you how to patch a bald spot in your fur. Uh, sometimes you, uh, you may notice you'll get a bald patch on your fur, unfortunately, since this is faux fur, it doesn't grow back. So, instead of replacing the entire piece, you can sometimes just patch these small uh, bald pieces so that it won't be noticeable. So, as you can see here, Momo's paws here have uh, this bald patch where the fur has torn away. Um, this happens a lot with um, hand paws because they are so actively used as we move around. And instead of replacing this entire hand paw, I am going to uh, close up this hole so you won't be able to see this bald patch here. So in order to do this, I'm going to need some basic thread and a needle. Now you can use uh, any type of polyester thread. If you're going to use thick thread like an upholstery or a coat fabric, you can single up. But in this case I'm using just a single 100% polyester lighter thread, so I'm doubling up my thread here. Now, as the bald patch is right here, I'm going to hide the knot by sewing directly into the middle of the bald patch. And then I'm just going to run my needle through the loop of the knot I made to hold the thread in place. And now I'm going to insert the needle through the fur and I'm just going to close up this hole using a Henson stitch. Uh, Henson stitch was invented by Jim Henson, uh, the lovely creator of the Muppets and uh, shows like uh, Dark Crystal and uh, the Labyrinth. And he designed this stitch that specifically hides the stitches. It's really good if you're sewing with fleece, but it can also be used with fur as well to hide any of your stitches. So you want to start your stitch like a basic ladder stitch. And then when you put in your second stitch, you want to put when you put in your second stitch, you want to sew it in as close to the original stitch as possible. So I put a stitch on one side, and now I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm not going to pull this tight. I'm going to keep it a little loose. And then again, as close to the where the stitch came out on the opposite end as possible. And every now and again I'm going to use my uh, needle just to pull this fur out of the way. So I am stitching on either side of this bald patch. And again, as close to the uh, original stitch as possible on the other side. And other side of the bald patch as close as I can get to the original stitch as possible. And one last time, as close to the original stitch as possible. Now, as you can see, I have stitched up around the bald patch as much as possible to the end of the bald patch. And I am now going to pull the thread to tighten all these threads together. And you can see as I do so, the bald patch is sewn or closed and is no longer visible. So now that I have stitched up that bald patch, I am just going to tie a knot. As subtly as possible. And then I'm going to bury the thread just by doing a couple stitches along the seam. This just hides the extra thread and ensures that even if the knot comes loose, it won't pull itself undone. Now I'll just go over the area I've just sewed with the, the head of my needle here, and I am just picking the seams to 
get all of those fur fibers that might have gotten trapped under the thread. So there you go, I have successfully patched this bald spot. You cannot tell it was there before. And it is giving a new life to my paws without having to sew a new pair. I hope that was informative. Thanks very much.